fixing a dry or cracked solder joint. You'll often hear the term a cracked or dry solder joint. Well, what exactly does that mean? Well, let me just show you. This socket has two cracked solder joints, which you can just about see if I wiggle the socket on the other side of the board. In fact, let's zoom in a little piece there so that you can see exactly what's going on. Can you see the pins as they rise and fall actually separate to the, the solder on the board? Now that can um, cause problems such as, for example, this is a video socket, um, incorrect video signal, or problems when the machine is hot or cold because the metal expands or contracts. Now in order to fix this, all we need to do is take a soldering iron and some solder and heat the pin and the board at the same time until it melts and then pop some solder on. Excuse me being a bit wonky with the soldering but I'm soldering over the top of a video camera which always makes it a bit more of a challenge. So there's sort of one, not super happy with that. And We'll go and do the second one. Now there's only two here but this is a 30 year old Amstrad CPC 464 so I think what we'll do is we'll do this one pin and board at the same time. It's important that the pin is heated at the same time as the board so that the solder flows onto both at the same rate. And you'll see as they both get hot that the solder takes a lot more easily. We'll go back and have another go at this one. There we go. Now we're not trying to win any beauty contests here and it's a plastic socket so I can afford to keep the soldering iron on there a little bit longer than I usually would with a component. There we go, see the flux bubbling away. Don't breathe this. <laughs> and we'll do the last one. Yeah, this is a 30 year old board, so we'll actually do all of the pins whilst we're there. Let's make sure that they're all nice and solid. Looks good to me. So now we're going to give it a wiggle and notice that there's no movement on those pins whatsoever. In fact, let's flip it over and have a look as well. So here's the socket from the upside. You'll notice it's the uh, the video socket on an Amstrad CPC 464. There we go. Now before there was quite a lot of play on this socket. It could it could move quite a lot, but now it's completely solid. There we go. All good. Well, I hope this has helped someone out there to understand what a dry solder joint or a cracked solder joint actually is. And see you in the next episode. Bye.